So we are set to go for the featherweight title belt. And it's Aldo who comes with the first big uppercut. He ate an overhand right though afterwards. Remember, both men have identical reaches at 70 inches. Oh, and the big kick. Difficult for both men to duplicate what their opponent would bring. I thought that was a mistake for Jose Aldo to be so content to get pushed up against the cage like that. But he was able to push off the champ. Devastating knees of Jose Aldo. Oh, look at that combination. And Brown stays momentarily. He grabs a single. Wow. Power of uh, Jose Aldo we see now early. With Mike Brown, the champion, keeping his composure. Great fight so far as we approach one minute to go here in this title fight for the featherweight belt. And now it's Aldo attacking. Brown goes into a defensive posture. And Mike Brown's trying to get the shot again. Look at again the, uh, the takedown defense of Jose Aldo. Just, we've always talked about his striking ability, his offensive ability. But you got to wonder if Mike Brown, the champ, can't put Jose Aldo on his back in this division, who can? Right. And Brown's in trouble. Brown is in trouble as Aldo goes to the mountain. Now he takes the back. And we have not seen the champion in this situation before. Jose Aldo now is just teeing off on Mike Brown. Brown trying to survive. And that's it. Steve Mazzagatti ends it. We have got a new champion in the featherweight division. Jose Aldo. Too much speed, too much power on the night for Mike Brown. And new WEC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr.